Today I want to tell you about Samsung Tesla new possible partnership. A few months ago, there was a report that Tesla planned for its next generation self-driving chip to use a 7 nanometer process by TSMC, a Taiwan semiconductor company. Now, a new report from Asia E, Asian economy in Korea, states that Tesla is partnering with Samsung on a 5 nanometer chip for self-driving. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV coverage, which we do in this channel daily, several reports. So please join our community. Lee Ki Min from Asia Economy reports that Samsung will partner with Tesla to develop a 5 nanometer class automotive semiconductor that will become the core of fully autonomous vehicles. In the situation where the semiconductor market for automobiles, cars, has expanded due to the recent expansion of the spread of electric vehicles and autonomous vehicles, the supply shortage of semiconductors for automobiles caused by the novel virus uh, infection, Samsung Electronics expanded the semiconductors uh, for automobiles, the production, into as a future business. Samsung hopes that its semiconductor production for cars will become a huge business as part of its uh, business product offerings. Now, according to related industries, Asia E reports, on the 25th, the Samsung Electronics Foundry division is currently conducting research and development on five nanometer class system semiconductors to be mounted on Tesla autonomous vehicles. The five nanometer semiconductors applied with the extreme ultraviolet EUV process is a high tech product that only a small number of companies such as Samsung Electronics and TSMC can produce worldwide. As you see, Samsung is entering into a new business, expanding that business and hoping Tesla will become a partner. Samsung Electronics has been supplying actually Tesla with 14 nanometer chip that have undergone an argon fluoride ARF exposure process, not EUV chips. The field that the two companies are expanding cooperation this time is the infotainment. Um, it's called IVI, infotainment product family, using 5 nanometer semiconductors, various semiconductors such as processors, neural network processing units, security integrated uh, circuits, uh, memories and display driving chips are used in uh, infotainment. Ultimately, it is regarded as a key technology that enables the vehicle to reach fully autonomous driving by processing information input from sensors, uh, lightning and communications in the vehicle and providing it to the screen. In particular, since last year, the performance of a uh, chip installed in infotainment is expected to become more important and the development of, uh, of the 6G preemptive competition in the United States, China and Europe beyond the spread of 5G globally. Now, Tesla, which has been leading the autonomous vehicle field so far in the automotive market, also needs Samsung Electronics technology. Tesla plans to upgrade the infotainment, IVI, to make the vehicle look like a smartphone with wheels or smartphone on wheels. Samsung Electronics is currently focusing on increasing the semiconductor yield per wafer unit. If Tesla provides the chip developed by Samsung Electronics, it is the procedure to, um, it is the procedure to undergo a vehicle test, adjust the yield for mass production accordingly, and then sign a contract. So there is a lot of space um, uh, that, needs to be, uh, uh, that needs to be taken. It is interpreted that Samsung Electronics recently restructuring of its personnel in the automotive semiconductor field 
is also not related to the increase in Tesla related technology and yield stability, Asian economy reports. Now, at the end of last year, Samsung Electronics recognized, actually reorganized its organizational structure, such as relocating its manpower in the advanced driving assistance system field related to autonomous driving to the infotainment field for vehicles. If it succeeds in mass production of Tesla-oriented products, it will be able to win the attention of other automakers and outsmart TSMC in Taiwan. So it will be big success for Samsung if this Tesla uh, thing works. Now, Taiwan company's world's number one foundry unveiled in world's first 7NM vehicle design platform in May last year, and Samsung Electronics is fierce enough to skip the 7 nanometer class and start developing the 5 nanometer class immediately. To be honest with you, I don't understand from computer chips very much, so I don't really uh, know the difference of 7 uh, nanometer computer chip versus 5 nanometer computer chips. If you guys know the difference, uh, please let me know in the comment section below, but I assume that 5 nanometer is better and faster than the 7 nanometer. Um, what do you think about this, friends? I think if Samsung gets this contract from Tesla, that will raise a lot of eyebrows. A lot of people will see, like many of us, for example, didn't know anything about cattle, the Chinese uh, electric vehicle battery giant leader. But we learned about cattle because cattle started building electric vehicle batteries for Tesla. And uh, that got some eyebrows raised. And uh, of course, everybody knows Samsung, but we know, don't know Samsung very much as a company leading in products in automotive industry. But now, since the automotive industry is moving into electrification and autonomous uh, driving, the automotive industry will need the, uh, the know-how of Samsung Electronics, and we will probably see Samsung getting more into the car business, infotainment business, into the chip for infotainment, because cars are becoming computers on wheels. So let me know what your thoughts are about um, this possible Samsung Tesla deal, which has not been announced neither by Tesla nor, nor by Samsung, but by Asia Economy, a uh, South Korean uh, news website about economy. And I will have the description, uh, actually the reference of that report in the Korean language in the description of this video. So friends, let me know what your thoughts are. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section below. And this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Join our EV community and Tesla community for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news analysis. And ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV story. In the meantime, have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. See you soon. And I'll see you in our next report.